Come, people, put your hands together. Good luck, ladies. Maria, let's manage the batteries whenever possible and control hot spots, okay? I don't see any casualty under the car. I don't see any leak or spills. The floor is not slippery. They are conducting their 360 degree assessment. Okay, looking for where here. the casualties are, hazards. Okay, everything Rachel. is being verbalized so everybody knows I what's see going instability on. Instability here, instability. Okay, thank you, Maria. It's not the casualty. I can see the truck. This is a. Uh, the big car is gasoline. The battery of a car is wide one and is inaccessible. And uh, the A car is diesel, okay? Okay, the casualty is in this car. Okay, Rachel. Okay. The zone, the area is safe, we can approach. Okay. If you can see, we are fighting. They've made their assessment, they've found out where the casualty is. They're now access. stabilizing these yeah, vehicles, okay. which is obviously a bit of a challenge. Okay. Both good. vehicles being very unstable. Okay, uh, you can see, uh, tell me uh, physical one. Stabilization is key. You have to make sure that everything is stable before you can work on the car. Okay, it's both for the safety of the rescuers as for the casualty. Very good. Are you off to a good start, Paul? Fantastic start, good 360. Picking up some different points that other teams haven't picked up. Yeah, a great okay. start. Very good. That's good to hear. So the people uh, that you see in the pits here with the red, green and blue vest, they are the assessors. They are from the UKRO. One of the assessors hey, is also Sarah, Sarah, inside the vehicle. He is the casualty. And he will do the assessing from inside the vehicle. Okay. Now, obviously, when these teams are ready, Girls, they go into debrief, and that's where three, our assessors two, will give them valuable one. feedback. Emergency stabilization. No, that's, that's okay. Ya está, ya ya la Sara. Puedes entrar. Stabilization is still ongoing. You can see they're using okay. V-struts, ratchet straps, blocks, everything to secure these vehicles as much as possible. You don't want to tilt them or roll them over while working. So that's what they're doing now first, putting in all of the initial stabilization, making sure it doesn't go anywhere. Alba pilot exploded. Alba copilot exploded. Okay. Gordon Alba exploded. And every side Alba exploded too. Okay, Rachel. Vale. Okay. No keys. No keys. No keys. No okay. keys. Vale. Parking is okay. No risky car. Okay. No coding. Who are? Okay, Sorry. Rachel. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, Steve. Go in. Okay. The inner risk of a car are. Uh, I work in pilot, copilot. So with me uh, is Wen. Wen is our uh, master of disaster. Wen, you and, and your team with Hanno and Martin are preparing key, okay? all of these scenarios. We don't have the key what have you prepared for us today? A very uh, challenging scenario. Two very unstable cars. Limited access. Uh, difficult scenario. I'm very happy uh, with the cars we have from uh, BMW. Also very happy with uh, my team, Hanno and Martin. Building all these scenarios every day, four times, it's very challenging, very difficult. I think the team is performing very well, a very good and clear assessment, a clear leader. And I am uh, very curious to what's going to happen now. I'm very excited to see how they uh, uh, remove the casualty from the BMW. Yes, obviously when you're placing scenarios like this, you have to balance between making it challenging but also safe. Uh, is the UKRO helping in any sorts of kinds? Yes, uh, this was not possible without the help of UKRO. Uh, they assist me, they help me. Uh, we have a good communication. Uh, we exchange uh, tips and tricks uh, from each other. So we are all together. We are a very, very good, nice team. Very positive. Okay, thank you, Wen. So having a look, there's still 
putting the stabilization in place. This is obviously okay. tricky. Um, you the, the, there are a lot the of unstable point. factors in this scenario, but uh, everywhere I look now, there's the ratchet strap, there's blocks, the there's V-struts. It seems to be uh, that it's well stabilized. Steve, first takeaway. Uh, first impression is very good. A lot of stabilization again to do on this one, difficult scenario. Um, working well with the V-struts again. Uh, just, just packing it up and binding okay. it. St still on the stabilization okay. phase now, yes. but that's fine. We're, uh, start to we're not too far into it, so okay. there's plenty of signs to pick up. This one is loaded, difficult on stabilization. I think once that's dealt with, the next phase is going to go quite smooth. All right, so they're off to a good start. As Steve is saying, this one is, is very hard to stabilize because we've got two unstable vehicles. It's posing a real challenge. And let's see if his prediction is coming true that the next phase will go uh, fast. Vale. Uh, according now, as Ben mentioned before, we a, BMWs, uh, we're really uh, happy with the partnership. One, okay. uh, for those of you who wonder uh, why would you cut brand new BMWs, couldn't you just make somebody happy with a brand new be, BMW? Uh, uh, these cars were never meant to be on the road, so okay, okay, BMW has obviously okay. a test and R&D center themselves. They use these cars for research, and they were never meant to go on the road. They were meant to be scrapped. So instead of scrapping them immediately, they were provided for the challenge, 30 of them, and um, they're being to put to good use, providing a training for uh, yeah, rescuers around the world. So. Um, 16 teams this week, 20 teams this week have the uh, option, the possibility to cut through these cars. So we're very thankful to BMW for making this possible. Do you have a primary? Yes. Huh? Yeah. So with me here is Max. Max is our operations manager for After Sales Rescue. Max, how good is it to see the tools in action? It's really nice to see all the tools in action. Um, it's really nice to feel the adrenaline of the, of the team. So that's really cool to see. Okay. Um, okay. So um, you being from After Sales, how important is it to look after the tools? It's really important that uh, they're well maintained, and uh, well, it's great to see them in action for the first time in uh, in these scenarios. So, what options has Homatro in place for service? Uh, can you come again? What options has Homatro in place for service? So, if you want service in your local country, who should you contact? Do you listen to me? Uh, you should contact the service Steven. department from Homatro. I'm, I'm the fire chief. You will okay. be. Thank we you so much. Emma. Enjoy. Try to keep calm, and we are working, and so everything was, goes well. Okay. Yeah. How is the uh, condition of the casualty? Uh, well, I think they've gained uh, rapid access very quickly uh, and they're now assessing. Um, that's come up with a plan and I think the plan was they're going to do a roof lap and the emergency plan was through one of the windows. We'll see. Okay. So, obviously, uh, the fourth assessor, Stu, is inside of the vehicle. He's the casualty. So, as Tony is saying, the, the plan will be to take the roof from the white car off, and uh, that will give them options to get Stu out in a controlled manner. Now, if the condition of the casualty deteriorates, then they go for the quick option, which means getting him out through the window. At that point, control is out of the door. It's, it's getting them out as, as fast as possible. So they're always looking at options and making sure that they can get a quick getaway if needed. Rachel, agafa la llàgrima ja, please. Eh? Necessito que comencem ja. Vale, ara mateix ho fa. Estic jo agafant la víctima. Vale, Rachel, la llàgrima. Necessito que protegeixin. Ja, ja ho sé, Sara, però... They're rechecking stabilization, making Rachel, sure that all of the stabilization they've put in place is still 
um, doing what it's supposed to do, making sure that these cars don't shift. They're making good progress, Steve. It looks like they're going down. The, um, the plan's a good one. We heard the plan. Um, that's good. They're working down that, that now. Done the first stabilization check, which is great before you make your first cut. Very, very important. Good to see. So, so far, they're doing the things right in the, in the right places. You know? so, say, be good, good to see the roof come down and the casualty out. Thanks, Steve. They're going to put the platform in place. It's obviously hard to work at these heights. So they've um, they get out the platform. That will give them another meter or so up. Easy, making it easier to cut the roof on top of the car. Esther, aparta't, sisplau, que volem entrar a la... Va al revés, eh, noies? Va al revés, això. Deixem-ho aquí. Sara, gestiona el vidre ja. Sí. The medic is inside the car, taking care of the casualty, looking at the first assessment, trying to find out what the injuries are. And it's the injuries of the casualty that dictate how this is going to progress. Sara. Comença per dalt, t'he dit, però bé, ja està. Comencem tallant a dins, d'acord, noies? Comencem tallant el vidre, eh? Rachel, està protegida la víctima? Sobretot, eh? Perquè jo no ho veig. Can I get a quick update, Paul? Uh, yeah, they're progressing really, really quickly. Um, difficulty working at the height, um, so they brought the platform in. Uh, Technique-wise, I can see where the full plan is. Uh, the emergency plan, just not 100% sure what that is yet. But. Okay. Let's see, let's see where they go. So they're cutting the front windshield, making sure that that can flap down when they make the roof flap. So that's what they're doing right now. They're using a recip saw to get through the, the window. Cutter is being prepared on the platform, so as soon as they want to make that cut, they'll move the platform in, jump on it, and start cutting. How is the casualty? The casualty is good, Emma? Okay. The team leader is holding an iPad. On that iPad, there's a software system from Moditech called Pressure Recovery. That system allows the uh, technical crew to look exactly what the car they have and they can see inside the car where the airbags are, where the uh, restraints are, making sure that they don't cut those because that's dangerous. So I'm joined here by Ronald. Ronald is our challenge coordinator. Ronald, how is it going so far? Yeah, it's 
um, it's going great. Um, you can see there's a, there's a big crowd. Um, it's a great competition, of course. 20 teams from uh, all over the world coming here to join the competition. Um, we got a good weather, but above all, we got great cars supplied by BMW, uh, making a real life scenario possible. So, um, yeah, we are excited about this, this challenge. Happy to see the pension tools in use. Yeah, absolutely. Um, feedback on the pension tools is great. Um, of course, battery driven pension tools, uh, they supply you with a lot of mobility, force, and speed. Um, so in the end, um, those rescue scenarios are uh, well handled with the tools. Now you're a rescuer yourself. How are the ladies progressing? Yeah, it looks good. Um, sounds good. If I see um, their, um, their plan happening now, uh, what they're working on, it looks like, uh, like a good plan and, and, and working hard. So yeah, let's see what comes up with it. Thanks, uh, Rono. So as you can see, they've uh, used the cutter to get the, the strong points of the roof away. They're putting it in place now behind the, uh, between the B and the C pillar to weaken that roof. Spinal board is already going in. They're trying to make space as they go. Sara, be careful. Sí, Esther, talla. Talla vidre. Vale, vas una vuelta de allá. Uh, that Pentium tool is going through those sills like butter. We're now positioning the cutter again to make the second cut. It's in the roof line, trying to weaken that roof so they can flip it back down later. Tony, how's it going? It's two inside. Uh, well, I think they've done an assessment. Um, they're just trying to now get the plan in place. Um, time can only tell them. That's what we can say, really. Uh, let's see what happens in the next sort of uh, five or six minutes. All right. Okay, Rachel. Something more? Now, obviously, it's a bit confined. As you can see, there's a tree against the back. The car is, is up on the blockade, and then there's the black car also against it. So they, it's a very narrow space to work in. That makes it difficult. We're trying to put the cutter in place now, weakening that roof. And after that, they will use the recep saw to cut through the roof, and then uh, they'll create more space and assess the options to get the casualty out. The whole way through the roof, trying to get it out with a recip saw. Yeah. 
Vinga, entre dos abatim i baixem. Ok? Maria, entre dos. Now pulling the... That's the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause. The team from Catalonia. Obviously some fans in the crowd as well. That's good to see. Stay with us. We'll give the team a few minutes to get out of the car, catch their breath, and then we'll go to a first reaction interview, see what they've found from it, see what the difficulties were. Yes, so that was the challenge for the team from Catalonia, and we will now hear from the team captain how it all went. How did you enjoy it? <laughs> We enjoy it. We enjoy it a lot, and we are happy, very happy. And uh, we learn also a lot. Uh, for us to stay here in All Matter Challenge is an opportunity to to keep growing and to to learn and to be better as a fight fighter. So learning and joy is obviously the most important of the challenge. I'm really happy you experienced both. What was the biggest challenge for you? The biggest challenge, it was uh, to work with uh, new cars because uh, we're always training uh, uh, with uh, old cars. And, but it's good, it's a good learning and it's a, it's a good opportunity, yeah. Thank you so much. The next one is the technical team, if they can come forward. They are uh, debriefing with each other at this point, so within 10 seconds they'll join us. Here they come. Hello. What was the biggest challenge to overcome? Uh, can you repeat? What, was the, uh, what did you find the most difficult? What was the hardest? Okay. Uh, we are not used to, to work with these tools, so we have to get used. At the same time, we have to do the performance. But we really enjoy a lot. Okay, that's good. How did you find the Pentium tools? Were they good? Yeah, they are really good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Last one is the medic, if I can get the medic forward. Hi, welcome. I'm a bit sweaty? Um? A bit sweaty, warm, hot? <laughs> sweaty. Bueno, I'm very grateful to Almatrom for give us this opportunity to participate in in this challenge with my with my team. <laughs> yes. Are you proud of the team and what you've done today? Yes. That's good you should be and we are actually very thankful for you to be here. That's that's an enormous gift to have so many teams from around the world traveling here. So thank you so much. Uh, could you get to the casualty easily? Bueno, the casualty shell is hemodynamically unstable, consumes an alert. But in the end, you got close to him? Very close. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. This was challenge number three of today. We'll be praying for one more after this one. So stay tuned and see you at the last team of today in a few moments from now.